Hey guys, this is Steven Austin of Austin Tech Authority. Today I'm going to be unboxing and showing you my first impressions of the Galaxy Tab S3. And it comes with the 64GB SD card. You get this if you order this between a certain time frame. I think it's a few weeks, two or three weeks after the release, which is today. So I'm not 100% sure how long this promotion will last, but if you pick this up right now, you will for sure get this SD card with the Tab S3. And this, um, book cover keyboard here is an optional accessory it um, it says it's slim and light it says it's easy to use has a free charging and pairing so I'm assuming it charges from the Tab S3 let's go ahead and open this box up and see what's inside And as you can see here, it shows some of the features. It shows 9.7 inch Super AMOLED display, quad core 2.15 gigahertz, two cores are 2.15 gigahertz, and two cores are 1.6 gigahertz. This is the Snapdragon 820, four gigabytes of RAM, 13 megapixel camera, five megapixel front facing, quad speakers tuned by AKG, and the 6,000 mAh battery, AFC charging, 32 GB of memory, and Samsung Knox. Oh wow, just from first impressions, this thing is extremely thin, extremely thin. If you look at this from the camera angle, it's extremely thin. Here's my knife for comparison. Focus on that. It's a very thin. Yeah, this thing feels extremely premium just from first impressions right now. I'm actually extremely impressed by build quality right now, and it looks extremely nice. This is the silver model. And you can see it's tuned by AKG, and it just it just feels premium. So uh, kudos right now so far from the build quality and just the lightness of this tablet is nice. Let's see what else is in the box. Of course, you get charger. It's a fast charger too, so you can charge up your tablet pretty fast. Let's see what else you get? The quick start guide, just all the those features, and you get a ejector for your. SD card slot, so let me take that out. Get the ejector. And then you get some S Pen tips for the S Pen that's included in the box. Of course, your charging cable. And the S Pen. And first impressions, this thing feels so much more natural. I've actually had the Galaxy Note 4 and this pen is so much bigger and feels more natural actually like you're writing with a pen or pencil rather than just a small little pen that came with the Galaxy Note series so so far I'm really impressed by build quality and just overall look and feel of this tablet so let's go ahead and unbox the keyboard So far, this thing looks really nice. Um, comes with some kind of. It's like, oh, this is the hinge for your S Pen, so you attach this to the tablet, I mean, to the keyboard, and this will hold your S Pen in place. As you can see here. Let me take that out. Because since this, um, this Tab S3 here actually has no slot for the S Pen, so that's. The sacrifices you make for a thinner tablet is that you have no room for extra accessories, or in Apple's case, no headphone jack. So let me go ahead and boot this thing up for you. Since this is a glass back, 
you probably should have a case on this to protect it, so you might not be able to actually see the build quality when you're actually putting a case on it, but you will probably need one given this is glass back and you don't want to crack that. Here's the keyboard case. So right now this thing feels really nice and I, I'm pretty impressed. There's quite a bit of tactile feedback just from the click. It has a nice little clip to it and really good um, materials. Let me go ahead and set this up. As you can see right here, there's the pogo pins for the, for the keyboard. Let me go ahead and stick it on. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, strength magnetically, so this thing is very sturdy. As you can see here, it's very sturdy. It just snaps on like that, and you have it. Boom. Connect this to Wi-Fi. As you can see, it has a fingerprint scanner, so I'm going to set that up. Let's do a pattern here, too. See the fingerprint sensor works really well. It's backing up on my content right now, so it's gonna be a little slow when I'm going through everything. I'm gonna take off the briefing because that's kind of annoying. I'll turn that off and that'll be good. In this SD card slot right here, you can see right there. Thing right here. It writes really well so far just from a simple thing like that, so pretty impressed with this. So there you go guys. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Hopefully I'll be doing a review really soon and some benchmarks on this device. Thanks.